Hi, I'm Jessica. And I'm Morgan. And welcome back to the Weekly Flex. Let's get started. Last week, we informed you that Mr. Lieberman's club, the Writers Club, is having a Writers Night. We are excited to announce that it will be taking place on October 25th from 3.30 to 5 o'clock. The theme will be Chilling Adventures. This Writers Night will be exploring explore ghosts and monster stories from around the world while still welcoming original student work. Any submissions will be due by October 18th. Stay tuned for more updates with the contest and workshops for the event. And for those that aren't sure what other clubs are going on, here's the current list. Don't forget that picture retake day is coming up on October 4th. If you need to get your picture retaken, be ready to have it taken on the 4th from 9.30 to 11. Here's a reminder about the 30th. A representative from the Michigan Student Aid Office will speak to all junior and senior advisories. They will discuss the basics of financial aid, including FAFSA, scholarships, and more. October is college month, so that means the annual college and career fair is soon. It will take place on October 7th. If you have any questions, feel free to talk to Ms. Alshire. Seniors, don't forget to schedule your senior meetings with Ms. Alshire if you have not done so already. Do you know of a student who is looking for another high school? During student referral weeks, family who refer students to Tech High School Brighton between September 19th and October 1st earn a cash incentive. The participating families will receive their incentives by December 18. Feel free to contact the office with any questions. Hello, and welcome to Baking Tips with Brie. Today, I'm going to be going over some of my favorite baking tricks that have helped me throughout my baking journey. I hope you enjoy and learn something new. I have a video of me here in the background baking a lemon cake for my previously sold Dino Pops. So first and foremost, before you start baking, you're always going to prep your station and your bakeware. This includes greasing your pans. The easiest way to do this is using a spray like canola oil or pan cooking spray, but the most delicious method is greasing with butter. Although this may seem tricky for a beginner because how are you supposed to do such a thing? Do I just take a stick of butter and rub it around in the pan? <laughs> no. Simply take a sandwich baggie, flip it inside out, and put it over your hand almost like a glove. Grab a pinch of that butter and spread it everywhere your mix is going to touch. Trust me, it's better to be safe than sorry. Delicious outcome, and the method can be really fun. My second and maybe most important tip is room temperature ingredients are key, if not vital when baking anything, especially for your butter or any chocolates that you're going to be melting. Cold butter is a fast road to ruining your cookies and melted butter, well, that's just the worst. So make sure you plan ahead before baking and set all of your ingredients out at least an hour beforehand. For my third tip, I am going off of personal preference and experience, but there, I mean, you don't have to do this. Initially, when you're pouring your mix in, don't pour in all the dry ingredients right away. 
save about a half to one cup at the bottom of the bag or like a cup of your dry ingredients to mix in at the end of your initial mixing. This makes stirring the batter way easier and lessens your mixing efforts. Plus, I've noticed I don't get many clumps in my mix using this trick. Even if you've never baked anything, these tips can be helpful in the future when you finally live a little. This has been Bree's Baking Tips. See you next time. Fall testing is right around the corner. The week of October 11th, students will be completing required pre-identification activities in their advisory. Testing weeks will be as follows. Tuesday the 26th for PSAT and MSQT for 10th and 11th graders. Wednesday the 27th for 9th grade PSAT testing. And Thursday the 28th for 12th graders who opted in for SAT testing. Testing is required for all 9th, 10th, and 11th grade students. On your day of testing, you will need to be at school by 7.30 a.m. More details will be emailed out to you and your parents soon, so be on the lookout for your specific testing schedule. This week launched the Youth Truth Survey window. Youth Truth is a survey that gathers information about students' perspectives on being a flexic student. Your voice matters. Last year's survey's results have led to students' shoutouts, the creation of flex time, clarifications of anti-bullying, resources, and reporting, and more. We look forward to continuing to improve as a school with your helpful insight. If you took the survey last year, you will be encouraged to know that this year's survey will be much shorter. You will be completing the survey in advisory and your submissions are anonymous. One more thing, all advisory representatives, the next meeting will be on Tuesday, October 19th. And with that, we will end this episode of the Weekly Flex. Thank you for watching, and before you go, make sure to watch our, new, our next and newest segment, Hack of the Life. I'm Brandon. And I'm also Brandon. And welcome to the Hacks of Life. And today, we got four video game life hacks for you. And by hacks, we mean life hacks, like this one here. If you need a good headset holder, but are unsure what to use, try using a banana holder. It actually works great. Do you have a pet that has a tendency to chew on your wires while you're gaming? There's an easy way to fix this. Use a tube, a split loom tube, and put your wires inside it stop those pesky pets from eating your wires. Also to go along with managing cords and cables, you can store your extra cords each in their own empty toilet paper roll. If you want to go the extra step, you can label them too. Looking to get some exercise while you're gaming? The fourth tip is for turning gaming into a workout. Say you lose in a game. Maybe you're playing Battle Royale, Call of Duty uh, Black Ops. You lose? Do a push-up or a sit-up. It's a good way to get a workout, especially if you suck at video games. Well, that's it for this week's edition of Hacks of Life. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.